Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more Naya Slivers, and we've got a majorly flooded hand. Holy crap, do I even want to bother with this? I've got a refill, but this is gnarly. Yikes. Um, hmm. I don't know about this. Uh, we got a winding way. We got a sidewinder. And we got a frick ton of mana. Fudge. Um... I'm almost tempted to keep just as a tester hand for these types of these hands. Let's do it. Let's see if we can recover from a flooded hand like this with a winding way. I'm kind of curious. It's a test in time. It's a test in time. We got a Radiant Fountain. Are we up against Boros Aggro again? We shall see. Time will tell. Okay, we got two winding ways. That's not bad at all. I'm going to call white for this one just in case. We got another one on the way. No big deal. We'll call red with that one. Hmm, mono black. Also not great, but it does allow us a little bit of time to get set up. I kind of just want to get both these thriving grows out of my hand and then start doing the refill. Because I do need to reduce my hand size a little bit, so... When we do draw into a creature, uh, we don't have to discard a lot. This guy's probably going to die. He's just fodder for whatever removal they have. Probably be duress. Uh-oh. Okay, well, now you know. Take my winding way. At least we got a second one. We would have been really screwed if they took our... Winding way, and we didn't draw into a second one. Now, ooh, they haven't played a land yet. Okay, another radiant. Thank goodness. I was gonna say if they double duress me here and take my other winding way, we're screwed. We're screwed. Thriving, thriving heath. All right, we're gonna we're gonna winding way first and see what we can get before it gets taken. Wow, what a hit! What a freaking hit! All right, so. Let's just get these out of the way. Call green. We got our red. We don't need any more than one red. Get in there for one flanking. And, and we just gotta hope. That's all we can do. That was a terrible winding way. What do we lose? Some more. Man, we were super flooded. Oh, frick. What are you? This is... Oh, my gosh. Um... Uh, all right, I need to read this thing. What am I doing? All right, enters with a plus. Um, I, uh, you can remove one, destroy target, artifact, or enchantment. Okay. Not going to be super relevant with us right now. Pretty cool card, though. Oh, my gosh. Are you joking? The amount of flooding is unreal right now. Like, absolutely unreal. That is insane. All right, well, we can attack into this guy. He can't do anything else, right? Right, okay. Beautiful. Let's get in for three. Get him back down to 20 since he gained so much life with those dang Radiant Fountains. And just hope for more hits, some more good hits. We just need uh, steam right now. Gas. Steam. <laughs> we just need some gas. That sucks. All right. It's bound to happen when you're playing black, though. They're going to go for your lords. But Juka. I've been seeing some whispers of a splash of black and some slivers. I think it'd be interesting. I'd love to play with, like, some unearths synergies. I don't know what else, uh, what other sliver black cards there are. But, um... Uh, I'm feeling like I want to mix it up a little bit, you know? I know you guys have been wanting me to try other things too a little bit, but I honestly just haven't had a lot of time to reconfigure the deck. It's been really hard just to get um, content out as it is. All right, well, we're swinging in for six. It's not bad. If we just keep drawing lords, I'll be fine with that. We're racing this guy pretty nicely. 
But uh, no more lands. No more lands. Weather the freaking storm. You gotta be freaking kidding me. All right. That's... That's lovely. Back to 20 they go. Okay. Three cards in hand. Their mana is a little weird right now. But, I mean, they do have two black and a green. What other shenanigans are you playing? You got this weird elder in here. This weird tree folk shaman. I want a big spell, not a two mana. Destroy my creature spell, thank you. You suck. All right, let's go. What else you got? Give me, I just want another good refill. Leave the stampede, please. Calling it. Leave the stampede, let's go. That's what we want, that's what we need. Girl, don't do it. Don't you freaking do it, you suck. Bye, flanking. And they're going to have enough for that flashback real soon. Take the three, it's not a big deal. Huh. Heart sliver. Not really what I need right now. But it might come in handy in a little bit. Who knows? We're going to get them for four. They have one card in hand currently. Flash this back at seven. All right. Got a couple more turns before they can pop that off again. And that's a big spell. Pestilence. Ugh. That's rough. We need a lord or something to stay ahead of this thing. Oh my gosh, you're joking. Wow. That's a flood, man. That's a harsh flood. You know what? This, this would have been perfectly fine. This would have been a perfectly fine keep if we hadn't gotten one stinking creature from our winding way. Now we're just at their mercy. They can wipe our board, swing in for three. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, why wouldn't you do it? And they can keep it around. Not giving up yet. We still got a couple turns to draw into some major refill. I got one card in hand. Oh, they're about to play it. Land of War Visionary. Okay, weird. All right. They draw a card. They get Rot Farm. They're going to bring back a Radiant Fountain. Because why not? There's a lead. Holy frick. All right. Give me all the hits, please, and thank you. Two lords. Oh, man. This is rough. This is rough. We're getting him for five next turn. I can't do it yet. Fudge. Need a couple plated or something. All right, we're getting hit for five. I can't play into the pestilence. It just doesn't make sense. I need to be able to get ahead of that. Or kill it. I'm bringing in... Uh, usually I don't have to worry about pestilence, but I could bring in sabotage from the sideboard. Might be our best bet. Gem hide. It's not going to do it. We're at four. Yeah, we're done. Okay. It's over. Let's go to game two. And let's bring in the Gleefuls. Is Relic super necessary? I haven't worried about their creatures. They didn't have a ton that we saw. Take out a hunter. I want all my refills, so I guess take out a sentinel. I can dig that. Let's try like that. Let's see what happens here. 
Rough first game, though. That winding way. Mm. Leave a sympathy like for that winding way on the video, please. And we'll wait for them to bring in more removal against us, which is what Black does. Sideboard in more removal. We will take the play here. Okay, it could be worse. Could be worse. Keep. Oh. Driving Heath. Calling. Calling red. We'll call her red. Just in case our gem hide dies, which it might. Got the Cantina vibes in the background. They like their life gain, man. Alright, we both have a tap land start. So, always feels good. Give me like another one drop. I'll play double one drops. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I'm almost tempted to just Ash Barons for a Plains player Sidewinder and just try to get set up a little bit better for a Gem Hide play. I don't want to run my Lord into... into removal or an edict yet. It might happen anyways, but... We're just going to go like this. And next turn, if this does survive, we can go gem hide into a lord, and I'll be a little bit more happy with that. But he may die. What do you know? Plated. I'll take that. Go gem hide, plated. Get ready to dump a bunch of lords next turn. Hmm. Okie doke. Jungle Hollow. Bring him back. Oh, you don't have to bring... That's not Bounce one. Okay, my bad. Mother Plated. Okay. Well, I do believe we're going to get down Double Lords here. We're going to just... Diversify a little bit. Oh, don't do that. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, there we go. Jeez, I'm like getting ready to click in and mess up all my stuff here. All right. A couple lords is good. They still got a lot of cards. We do have another lord and a plated on the way. They've got a lot of these cast downs though, which, you know, the extra plated doesn't really help us too much with that. Oh, you're a bonders boy, huh? Little bonders boy. I see you. And a cast down. All right, so cool, 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 uh, 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 two cast downs gone is what I'm really trying to say here. Ooh. I am going to Winding Way. See if we can hit a haste. We do not, but that's okay. We're still getting stuff together here. I really want to start attacking in. <laughs> At some point. I would love to start attacking in. They are running low on cards. Sort of. Ah, that's not super low for Mono Black. And they've got this dang Bonders ornament, which is... Always annoying when they're getting all this mana set up and we're just giving them turns to set up. 
Mm. Read the bones and lose two life. There you go. You got plenty of it to spare. They could do another cast down with the mana they have. Or they could have busted. If they busted, we're in shape. We're in business to get going here. Oh my gosh. The life gain is ridiculous. Draw another two. All right. That's fine. Give me another refill. Not what I'm looking for, but... It's fine. We can actually start a ting... A tinging in. A swinging in. A swinging in 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 for a good chunk. A nice, healthy chunk. All right, game three. I think we run it back. Do I want Gleeful? Do I want Gleeful? Hmm, I'm still debating. Yeah, let's let's keep it. It's fine. Just in case. We are on the the draw here, more than likely. And uh, if they do get ahead of us on mana and then drop that pestilence, or on defense versus mana, it's it's gonna be rough. So better safe than sorry. We'll keep it in. Hmm. It's not ideal. We'll keep it. This is like a little bit better than our last opening hand. At least we have a Lord on us here. But we are a little bit behind. Okay, that was a Fiverlin. Yeah, we're going to do this still. Call red. We'll have our mana set up. Uh, I might just take the turn to go play to Fiverlin. Get set up that way. Again, I don't want to like have to discard things if I don't have to. And it plays around edicts. Oh my gosh. I'm so sick of the flooding. Craziness. Okay, go ahead. Visionary. Sure. Give me a one drop. Gosh, dang, you're joking. Holy frick. That's insane. Hmm. All right. We're going to go winding way. Okay. That's fine. Sneak in for a little bit of uh, poisonous damage. Why not? The flooding, man. Have I named one of my videos Flooding Swamp or Swamp Flooding? Probably. Seems like one I would have used already. Gotta come up with something else. We can drop Sentinel and Muscle next turn, but we really need more gas. Piumbra. Ah, when it dies, create a token with reach. Okay. Fun, fun. And a Bajuka. Lovely. Gem hide. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. We are still going to put down Muscle Sentinel. We can put down the Gem Hide next turn. And hopefully get like... Some nice refill going here. So what do I got? I got two fours on the board. Let's get in for a little bit. A little bit at a time. Working that poisonous up. 
Uh, I'm feeling like our muscle's gonna die. They gotta have a cast down in their five cards here. Plenty of mana though. They've been hitting their mana drops every turn. We'll love a refill just to solidify this game. That'd be the best. I will take the whole turn off and play everything out of my hand. Bonders. All right. Where's your cast down? Do you, don't tell me you don't have any removal in your hand right now. If you don't, then that is crazy. Like, actually crazy. Two gem hides is not ideal. It's not ideal. What are you setting up here? Double block something? I feel like their only play right now is trying to kill some of my creatures I kind of don't want to attack hit them for three poisonous potentially more if they want to do a double block hmm, my concern is a you know a double block cast down so I can block so they like block these two block block destroy so puts that three. Hmm. I I feel like I just want to pass. Maybe that's not smart, but I feel like I'm really being bait, baited into something here. I really feel like I'm baited. I'm being baited. So vibe I'm getting. I'm gonna pass. Ugh. It doesn't feel good passing like that, but it's just a bit of an awkward board state. Here comes the cast down down the turn, I guarantee it. There you go. That's what I was worried about. Uh, you know, I'd rather lose one of my lords end a turn than like two or three of my creatures, depending on what kind of stops I could pull out. It's not, not great. I don't like it, but... It's so like I said, man, we just want that refill and really get nasty with them. Okay, four cards in hand. They're holding up all their mana. We get a little flanking boy. I'm going to keep the forest in hand. Make them think we have something, I guess. I don't know. Uh, passing. I don't know. This sucks. I'm just going to slowly eat my creatures end of turn. What do you got here? Draw. Okay. Yep. Bonder ornament draw time. That's fine. So many cards. So many problems we got to deal with. My worst fear is a kill one of my plated and then drop like that two damage to each creature board wipe suffocating fumes that puts a nice spin on things block two take two four six eight ten they could destroy one So at the very least, we're getting in for five poisonous. They've just got so many cards, man. It's problematic. It's really problematic. Do I start adding the pressure? Poisonous pressure. Okay, let's think here. 
What if they've got two kind of dead in hand edicts? They're not really trying to play them. Well, I don't see why they wouldn't cast down. Kill with Everlin. Hit him for five poisonous. What if double cast down? Then it's just a pointless attack. It's rough. The more I sit and wait, though, the more they just Bonders ornament. They've just got too much, man. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel good about this attack either. Cause say they just kill both our, our poisonous, it's just a fruitless attack, and they get to eat like one of my creatures. Gosh dang, man. Really putting me in a weird spot. It's that six cards in hand. If they had like three, three cards in hand, maybe even four, I'd feel better about the attack. I don't feel good about it. Let's see if they start killing stuff. They're just going to keep drawing. See, they've got crap. They're playing really smart. They're not being too greedy. playing really smart see that that cast down so we would have only gotten for five and potentially they had another removal too i don't think we would have gotten any poison on them on them if we had attacked that turn we still have the power power to pressure if we had a couple lords into viverlin you know that's a little different okay so they're tapping out a little bit they're holding up two mana Give me a refill. Give me a dang refill. Oh, man. These floods have been absolutely ridiculous. So ridiculous. Just get more blockers or get more crap. Yeah, see, they, they had that. I knew it. They could have drawn it or something, I guess, but... I feel like they've been just stacking the removal here. They're just slowly starting to whittle me away. And they're just drawing beyond belief right now. A death touch rat. Lovely. That's fun. Got so much mana. Oh my gosh, it's pissing me off. Come on. You know, it's a sad day if Mono Black beat... Well, it's just Mono Black. Take it back. Double Bonders Ornament. They are tapped out because... Well, they've got one mana. Refill. Fudging A, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my gosh. I don't care. I'm gonna call it, like, flooding. Just flooding out. Flooding out. That's it. Just flooding out. I don't think I've used that. It's not quirky enough. Just flooding out. I don't think this one deserves anything but a normal flooding out. Uh, what did they do? They did it on Earth? Oh, they cycled the unearth. Okay. Gotcha. Cycled the unearth and just mana and card draw for days on end. Another spider. These are sideboarded in. They gotta be, right? These are like blockers for days against our deck. These are their sideboard flyer deck, but also a defender. Wow. 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 Was that three turns in a row we drew lands? Cycle another on Earth? <sighs> this is tough. <laughs> Thorn, of course. Now they're in the Monarch. Holy frick. 
I'm very impressed by the card draw capabilities they're putting on right now, but we have just been, been getting very, very unlucky. Finally, something. Jeez, pizza. It's not even that great. Holy cow, man. Can't even kill blocks. We just need to keep adding power. Like, what else can we do? Holy cow. Maybe I should have... I was not expecting this long of a match and this this amount of, like, a weird board stall, but I should have brought in Bladeback. This doesn't seem like a match for Bladeback whatsoever, but holy cow, man. Right now, I'm like, in my head, I'm like second guessing my non attacks, but I feel like I was justified in those. I don't know. It, it's hard to, to say exactly what they had going on in their hand, but I feel like I was justified in not attacking. We were definitely getting baited the first time. And the second time, it was a guess on the double cast downs on our poisonous. Well, just look at this card. They don't even need this card draw. They're just doing it to show off at this point. <laughs> uh, I guess. I told him, wonderful card draw. Legit great. Oh my gosh, they've just got all the answers, man. It's insane. They're about to have to discard the hand size soon. <laughs> With the amount they're putting down. Okay. Lead me up, baby. Give me the goods. Where's all our creatures hiding? Send you a plated... And of Everlance. There's a Gleeful. Like, we don't even need these gem hides right now. It's just, like, crazy. So, do we attack in now? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attackers. So there's six blockers. We've got the flankers. Hmm. We got to start doing stuff now, right? I, I mean, this game, their card draws are route. I'm going to start attacking because eff it. Because eff it, you know? We got double flankers, and if they're... If they're not careful, they're going to go for our lords, and our flankers are still going to be pretty effective. It's a lot of mana. Snuff out on my Viverlint. Okay. I don't mind that. Lock on the big boy. Death touch on that. It's not going to actually deal damage though, right? Because of the flanking? Or will it still technically? I don't actually know how that works. I've probably seen it before in one of my matches. I'm just forgetting right now. It doesn't happen too often. I 
See, they're forgetting these sidewinders, I think. Flanking for days, brah. Flanking for days. Don't underestimate sidewinders. Do not. They are the best. Okay, wow. They get a couple tokens. We get massive triggers for the Monarch. Maybe I waited a hair too long for the attack, but I did have to try to make them tap out a little bit if we ever wanted any chance of getting around their six card removal standstill we had going on. Yeah, yeah, we get it. We became the Monarch. We have him down to 10 life. We're still at a healthy 20. Frick you, I'm playing my other freaking flooded out land that I've been carrying in my hand. We're drawing a card. It's a Viverlint. And they're going to cycle a land. Get another swamp. <sighs> Man. I don't know what to say about this game, guys. This has been a flooded mess of hot garbage standstill. Maybe misplays, maybe not. Just nasty card draw. Frick them. <laughs> Crypt rats. Holy frick. I think that's a little late. That's a little late. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Bye, board. I forgot his ability is not uh, affected by summoning sickness. Okay, well, look at where we are. Jeez. Thank goodness we get a refill here. Oops, I want red. The game continues, unbelievable. Freaking clutch crypt rats at the end. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness. How long were they holding on to crypt rats for? Or did they just get a beautiful top deck? I'm gonna ask him. He's not really talking, but we'll see. We'll see if he responds. There's just a ton they can do now. All right, they got a deathy touchy. Get the monarch back. Son of a bee. Chainer me. Don't need the Viverland. We want the first strike. Gain a life, that's gonna... Oh man, that's gonna help. They got five minutes left too. We are going to time today, guys. Holy cow. This is insane. Ha! <laughs> of course we draw another land, right? Of course. Frick, man. We're in this weird position again where they can just... Ah, they can do so much. Alright, I need to take a look at this. One, two, three cast downs. Snuff out. Fudge, man. Mm. We could we could potentially lose our entire board here. All I have to do is kill their sidewinder, and we we lose our sidewinder. We lose our sinew. Pass, fudge, and a.
pulse. Of course. And they're getting crypt rats back. That's a GG right there. I don't think we can come back from that. They're back at 11. They're back at 13. Holy cow, man. This deck is insane. Ugh. Insane. We're tied up. 11 11. They got a typhoid rats. All right. They're running out of time, though. We're going to beat them on time. All the removal is at the bottom of our freaking deck, man. It's crazy. So crazy. Any order, get these lands out of here. Call, uh... Call white again. All right, well... Let's get what we can get down here. I could, like, unearth into another Crypt Rats again. Some nonsense. Get them their card draw. Twenty two cards left, eighteen cards from me. I haven't had a game this long in a while. It's been a minute, right? Take the two. Don't tell me you not got another Crypt Rats just sitting in wait. They have some kind of wipe, don't they? They do have another Crypt Rats. That's awesome. Yeah, they, t they swung in because they knew they were just going to wipe the board. Holy cow, man. Well... The board is cleared once again. We are at six life. They are at eight. And they have just under four minutes left on the clock. And we've got a healthy seven. I'm not trying to let this go to time. I mean, obviously, he's been using his worse than I have, but. <laughs> Alright, well, we're not playing him into an edict. We've got plenty of mana where we can play him at another point. Let's just uh, play a little patient. Bonders Ordeman again. They have another pulse. That's ridiculous. So it's just, just, just uh, what would this deck be? Like just Golgari control? That's a good draw for them. It's just like Ogari Control. It's crazy. Man, the card draw! Every turn they're drawing like two cards, I swear. At least. At minimum. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, we are really coming down to it, aren't we? What do we even have left, man? Dude, chill out with the card draw. Let me see how many, like, lords... To send you soon. We still got lords hiding. Gonna get back their life. They're under three minutes now. This is just the problem. This is like I don't know. Some people debate this with Magic the Gathering online. They they either think, you know, the clock is not great or it is great. Some people think, hey, you, there should be a time limit. Other people say, hey, you need to play the game out. Because you do get into situations like this where it's just kind of like these weird standstills, and yeah, they have the upper hand, but they're going to lose on time. In all technicality, they should be winning this game if they had an extra couple minutes or something, you know? Uh, they're just going to double edict me here, and then kill me? Do it. End the game.
Good. Good game. GG's. Well played. Well played. Wow. Well, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed that one. That was a hot mess. And I'm sure there will be comments on maybe how I could play differently. But, uh, yeah. Um, that was just, you can't compete with that kind of card draw. Really, really, really insane card draw. Wow. Hurts. Hurts, but GG to them. GG. All right, well, stay tuned for more slivers next week. Make sure to subscribe. I do appreciate it. Trying to hit 1K, so any support is very helpful. And we will see you guys in the next video.